Freedom of religion is protected in a Christian system. It's protected in a, our democratic system. Islam is not compatible with that. Well, how can that be? If it's a religion, must be something wrong with our constitution. No, Islam is not a religion. It is codified insanity. In fact, it's the reason most people think that religion is insanity because it can pretend to be your religion because it's not one. What about the Saudis? Okay, these are different. Oh, it's a different kind of Islam? So it's a, a less aggressive in our direction crazy? Why is behavioral health such a, a staple of our economy at this point that it, it's worth more to just like uh, forgive crimes and make it look like something like an old D. Smith for president. Fuck your forgiveness. Fucking Saudis are like, he's a real bad guy. Idiot FBI is trying to prove it. Why is behavioral health such a money maker? Why are you subsidizing the, them to package our toxic waste and sell it back to us as medicine? You see, medicine is not a for-profit venture unless you're competing against Islam, which just furthers their agenda. First, do no harm. It, it doesn't mean you have to be completely toothless. It applies to every kind of diplomat. A priest is just a student like anybody else. A doctor has a responsibility. It's called stoic authority. It means you withstand the deluge and then you fix it. Stoicism is the basis for all diplomatic authority. I witnessed an atrocity. I was scared, confused, angry. This is, it would be abnormal not to experience these ranges of emotion having witnessed what I did, but we've got codified insanity paying people that don't know any better to identify targets of opportunity. Well, why do they have to dress it up like psychiatry if, or uh, their religion, we're their sworn enemies? Oh, it's their religion. Why dress it up like, see, we can't protect that. When the IRS establishes that religion is the search for universal and eternal truth, the Catholic Church will be fine. The Hebrew temple, the Buddhist, it'll all work out. Islam, all these weird sects of Christianity, which to them just means white people to come out of Europe since their invasion. You know, if, if you're doing something wrong on behalf of the Catholic Church and they find out about it, you're going to pay the piper. In the meantime, if you're legit, if you're a believer, And you're not just just gaming the Constitution and rip off we the people and leaving the Catholics holding the bag. I don't know if they would even really notice, like, but Islam wants to take the thing down. How do you do that? Well, what Islam does is mostly government stuff, but it's they call it a religion. So this is a self-perpetuating, like, you know, God ordains his own ministers sometimes but this the way that they are programmed from from birth it's a it's a slave rating racket it'll be fine you'll be a slave of the prophet well what about the people that don't get the opportunity to be a slave of the prophet before they you know they get bombed and take their kids and teach them to be little dancing boys and sell them to the chinese it doesn't work universally at least catholicism gives you a chance a lot of this stuff only takes place on paper. But like I said, with a, a rational authority, you know, an, an ecclesiastical authority observes 
reality as the uncontested will of the gods. It manifests it, so either this is something which cannot be avoided, or, you know, like, like if it's a threat to us, we have to do something about it. I mean, sure, it's a, it's a noble endeavor to feed and wash and uh, educate, make the, the peasants are better off with uh, life skills. But the Bible can't be expected to account for all the common sense the average peasant lacks. And that's not the basis of its authority. So I don't know how hard it would be to convert most of Christendom to Catholicism. I was looking at the socio-political mechanics of the C of E, the Mormons, trying to figure out a way to kind of bring them into at least where it's not like a, a major uh, point of contention because recognize a victim. Why, before Islam, and including Islam, polygamy was a, a, a symbol of status. Your, your wives were a trophy to show your enemies not to become one of them because they all represent a dead one. After Islam, it may have become necessary to keep the people you care about close to you so nobody tries to use them against you. It may have become so diplomatically desperate in some places with these people that it became necessary to form multiple alliances through one tribe. But Christians, you know, Jews are supposed to be too busy for this. Christians don't have a reason to go around looking for a child to be born. But that's the whole thing with Islam. It, re it revolves around it. I mean, if you're praying five times a day, you really have a third of the day set aside for work. No, it, it, their prosperity comes from seizing the world's most valuable resources with terrorism and enslaving your enemies. And the truth is verboten, not allowed. It's haram. That's all I want to do. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I'm climate challenged because I got nerve agent. Got people messing with my communications or just the most unprofessional federal government I've ever witnessed. For instance, I went to the VA on the Indian reservation where if it was legal, must have been leased from the tribes. And I, I dropped a couple things off. I didn't try to get into detail with the girl working there because it's just a VA. Anyway, I leave, I come all the way back to my house and a couple of guys show up claiming to be feds. They want me to sign something. All right, so I, I was a little suspicious because first off, how are you going to come from the reservation and tell me to stay off if you work for the federal government? Are you going to stay on it? <clears throat> Anyway, they want me to sign some papers. So I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to keep you waiting in the sun since you're the palest anthropoid I've seen on this continent in my life. So let me go ahead and just use my camera to scan the documents, sign it. If anything comes up, I have proof. Well, no, I don't take a picture of it, just sign it. All right, well, now it's coercion. So that's whatever you want. You can't just go by whatever excuse you have not to do your job. Most people have no way of figuring that out. And now, if it's not the law, isn't I mean, it's, if it's illegal, it's not the law, so now you're dealing, now you're in my arena. Because now you're making a religious assertion. Is it just a criminal organization? Oh, is it a cartel? Cartel means police. Oh, I went to the hospital and that doctor ripped off the insurance company and left the uh, FDIC to sort it out with me. We're, you aware that you were working for the cartel Washington trace it back to the Saudis like oh there's nothing we can do about that you sure you don't mean the Mexicans why is there nothing we can do about that because the United Nations wouldn't know a real religion if it jumped out and bit their asses off I don't know what you think I do or did but you don't have a legal or a religious argument other than working for the Saudis and that's you know I ain't gonna fly it's not just a free lunch for everybody to screw us and blame Russia, stupid Germans.